Hello everyone, and today we're going to bring, I'm going to bring you a Photoshop tutorial to make a cool wallpaper that looks like this. I know, right? It looks epic. Anyway, let's get started. So we'll make a new whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. A new layer or whatever. A new document. There we go. It says right there. Just call it Untitled for now. You can save it later. And we're going to colour the background black, so a shortcut for that, you can just press Alt and Backspace, and that'll make it black. And um, now what we're going to do is get a new layer. No, we're not going to do that, hang on. We'll just click on the text here and choose whatever colour you want your text to be. So I want mine to be a nice, kind of light blue sort of thing. Alright, and you type in your text. Um, for any of you who want this font, it's called Slant, um, and you can get it from thefont.com. I'll probably put a um, link in the description. And uh, oh, that was fail. Okay, um, change the font till it's big enough, and I like that. Move it to around the center, but to get it exactly in the center, what you do is make sure you have this cursor tool selected and click on your text layer hold control click on the background and these icons here this one here says um, align horizontal no align vertical centers so you click on that and this one is align horizontal centers then click on that and that will put it perfectly in the center okay now what we're going to do is <coughs> sorry about that we're going to add a new layer so if I'm going too fast for you, um, just pause it whenever you need to. And um, click this little button here to change these back to black and white. So click on that and they're both black and white. And then go to Filter, Render, Clouds. Do this when you have layer your new layer selected. And go Clouds. And then go to this little drop down box here. And go Color Dodge. And it doesn't really look like it did anything, but it did, so don't worry about it. And uh, with this still selected, go to Filter, Sketch, and Chrome. Um, and you can copy, with, copy me with the detail if you want. I just put the detail at 5 and the smoothness at 9. doesn't really matter. And just press OK. And um, now what you want to do is you want to go to your text. You want to right click and go Duplicate Layer. Or if you want, you can just press Control J, which is the shortcut key for it. And um, right click on that and go rasterize type right here. And then you can control J on that three times. So one, two, three. And click on the second copy that you've made. So it says it will say your text copy to. So click on that. Go to filter blur. Sorry about that. Oh, jeez. Puberty. Filter blur motion blur. And uh, put that as zero and whatever distance you want, I'll just leave it around here for this tutorial uh, put it there <coughs> and then your copy 3 go filter, blur, same thing, motion blur but change the angle to 45 and then uh, go OK and then the copy 4 go filter, blur, motion blur again and just go negative 45 and uh, it'll look like this and then with this one, the one that only says copy, you go filter, blur, Gaussian blur this time. I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. But uh, don't put it that. You can put it this big if you want, if you like what it looks like, but I don't. So I'm going to move it down. And move it up a bit more. That's right. And put it there. And then this text layer here, the original one, move this up above everything else uh, except the clouds. I just don't know why, so I just do it like, and then select the text and highlight it when the box is around it, like that. See, so you don't want that; you just want it so it's just the the eye thing or whatever. I don't know what's called. And then just change this to black, and it'll stand out a bit more. And then um, I see on the wallpaper we've got this kind of it's like transparent and it looks like it's been it's a different font too but it works the same with any font that font there if you like that that's called blade 2 you can get that from thefont.com as well um, so you click on this right click on it and go blending options 
and what you want to do is um, go beveling in boss or whatever and uh, maybe change the depth just a little bit and the size just a bit that looks pretty good and um, that's all you really need to change just those two if you want to soften it just makes it you know less oh ch change this to chisel hard by the way this technique just has smooth go to chisel hard then you can soften it make it like not as not as much of a violent kind of um, chisel if you know what I mean I don't really know how to explain it but anyway and uh, now what you want to do is go stroke and you can leave that black if you want or you can change it to the color of your um, uh, the chrome clouds behind it but I just leave it at black because it looks pretty good and leave the opacity at 100 on that one go back to oh no don't worry go to drop shadow and move the distance a little bit to give it that kind of 3D look you know it looks really cool um, the size increase it maybe just a little bit because all shadows aren't the exact outline of um, of the object that it's you know oh, I can't talk today so you know the object that's being shone on and then the shadow behind it, it's not the exact shape of that um, so yeah that's I think that's all you do then go OK and um, then select this layer and go to opacity here you can change it just a little bit so it looks like that and that looks really cool gives a nice effect and then if you want to you can add some more stuff more stuff I've just got some um, flames from a GFX pack that I have um, downloaded and um, I'm gonna release a GFX pack when I get to 100 subscribers might not seem like much but you know it is to me it means a lot um, to have support from everyone okay so if you add the fire you just put this on top of it so you don't see that chrome effect or if you like it you can leave it back and um, change this to screen so it gets rid of the black and just keeps the ordinary picture and then you can click on this go control U and um, that brings up the hue, hue saturation or you can just go image adjustments and it's right here hue saturation I'm using uh, Photoshop CS5 point CS5 extended so that's what I use, but this works with CS4 as well. I'm not too sure about CS3. But if you want to change the hue down, just um, whichever direction. I think I'm going the wrong way actually. Um, oh no. There you go. Choose whatever colour the clouds are, or a, um, a lighter or a darker colour. I'm just going to leave it like that because that looks pretty cool. And then you can add um, sparks. I've also got this from. Um, a DFX pack. Um, oh, not this one. Hang on. Um, yeah, yeah. Add a cool spark. Select it. Control C, Control V, and then to adjust the size and stuff, go Control T, and that'll bring up this. Um, and you hold Shift just to make it smaller without you know wrecking all of this so you just hold shift and it will only make it will just make it smaller without wrecking anything else you can just, just put that to screen as well and then put it over there looks alright and then just press this tick when you finish with that and that's pretty much it then you get this really cool effect that you have there um, and yeah that's really nice I like it a lot and it looks really cool and on your desktop it's a magnificent effect we can also add a lens flare if you would like if you have it from a texture pack but I mean uh, not a texture pack I was thinking of Minecraft um, a GFX giveaway or something or if you've made your own or you can go I um, uh, can't really remember see here uh, no 
it's in render yeah there we go lens flare and uh, we can just go ok on that and no what did I do uh, make a new layer and then do that um, filter lens flare oh, whatever knobber Oh, it doesn't want to work for me, but yeah, that's how you get a lens flare. Uh, I guess I can do it on the background. No, oh, no, don't worry about it. Anyway, anyway, um, that's the f basic effect that you're going for, and then you just save it as a JPEG. I save mine as JPEGs. Um, Photoshop stuff, and just call it whatever you want. Um, Photoshop tutorial and then it ends up here and then if you've got a slow computer you can turn it down um, so it's a small file or if you want maximum quality to make it look really good just turn it right up to 12 and just leave everything else and just go OK and then it'll be hang on, it'll be where you saved it so Photoshop yeah. Um, while I'm doing this, I just want to say, here it is. By the way, I just want to say thank you everyone for your support. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe this video. And um, I'm also thinking of making Minecraft Let's Play. So if you're into that idea, um, so if you're into that idea, tell me, and I'll get those done as get those up as soon as I can. And um, yeah, I'll be putting some Cinema 4D tutorials up soon as soon as I can as well. I've got a lot of stuff to do. And for those whose intros and logos are waiting, I'm sorry, there's a school excursion and I'm leaving um, soon. If I can get this uploaded today, then I'm leaving the next day. So I'm leaving on the 30th of July and I'll be gone for two weeks. Um, so there will be no videos uploaded or anything during that period no intros or anything and I think I'm just going to stop for a while because I'm, I'm fully backed up with everything and um, yeah I'm just trying to get everything done so sorry to everyone who's waiting for an intro or a logo or a YouTube background or something um, going on a holiday soon so yeah I'm sorry and I'll get them done as soon as I get back I'll be like right on to them so thank you for all for watching and I'll see you next time bye